Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. It's been quite a while. I haven't made a tutorial in like a few weeks, maybe even a few months, but I've been gaining subscribers without even uploading. So I kind of got motivated to just continue uploading videos and get that 1K subscribers because that would be great. So yeah, here I am back with another video. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make this simple uh, animated screen for like in like a Valorant theme. It's not that hard and I'm going to give away some presets uh, that should make it much easier. So even the less experienced, motion designers can make this even if you're just starting out with after effects that's pretty much it let's get into the video i've already made this little composition and i called it screen and um here's the settings it's just 920 by 1080 pixels uh frame rate is 30 just very regular and by the way let's set the duration to like uh six seconds so i'm personally gonna start off by creating a new shape layer because i want to import the colors i made i've created a little preset that you can see here if i open this it creates a shape layer with all the color codes and the colors that are mainly used in the Valorant's graphics. So this is super handy to just have in your composition. You can color pick the colors for other layers. So that is why I wanted to open this first. Uh, the next thing is just the layout. Uh, so we're gonna create a new solid. I'm gonna color pick this dark color and this is gonna be our background color. Next, I'm gonna click on G to pop up the pen tool and we're gonna create this nice little red shape right here. Um, for some reason, it already filled in the right color, but if you, haven't, uh, if you don't have the right color yet, just click on fill and then pick the color uh, picker tool and just click on the red that we have um okay so for now we can just turn off the colors so this is the basic layout that we're gonna use the next thing that we're gonna do is import our character i'm personally gonna go with jet again just for the sake of the tutorial okay so i have my image imported in after effects i'm gonna scale mine down a little bit and put it to the bottom so it matches nice and just put it over the shape here so there's like a nice transition you can tweak this a little bit i'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger okay this looks fine next what i'm gonna do is do a little animation on jet so i'm gonna right click jet and then pre-compose and i'm gonna call this uh jet animation i'm gonna double click my composition to open this and then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna select the puppet tool i am just going to click make a few puppets and basically the puppet tool just does what the name says it's a puppet tool uh you just make some points and then you can separately animate these points so i'm just gonna uh, create some points on the wrists and the elbow and basically on just the joints that normally move i'm gonna create one on the head here and maybe the shoulder a little bit of the hair and you also want to uh, make a few pins down here so these don't move and don't get affected by these i'm gonna press two in the waist and then here in the knee and that looks fine i'm going to select my layer and press u twice this will pop up my keyframes as you can see i'm gonna drag my time indicator over to two seconds and then i'm just gonna uh, select this and then drag a few uh, of these pins around and so we can create a very easy movement i'm just gonna drag the thumb up and the finger like she's closing her hand almost and drag this up a little bit maybe drag the wrist a little bit down like she's really moving her wrist inwards i'm also gonna change the hair a little bit down and the head a little bit up like she's moving her head maybe the shoulders a little bit and then just uh and then maybe tweak the leg a little bit okay this looks fine right now uh, i'm going to duplicate uh these old keyframes that i had at the zero and i'm gonna go to four seconds i'm gonna paste them again then i'm gonna gonna select all of these keyframes and i'm gonna create a nice curve with motion three if you don't have this you can just open the graph editor and then uh your shoot like this once you press f9 and then you can just drag these inwards and then drag the left ones inwards as well and just mess around with this until you have a nice curve i'm just gonna use this 80 curve uh this looks really nice so if i ram preview this you can see that it looks really smooth and nice and i'm a big fan of this movement uh, since i made my composition uh six seconds long i'm just going to select all of these keyframes and then hold alt and i'm gonna drag them out and then hold shift so you can snap to uh, seconds and then i'm gonna drag them out to six seconds so it's a nice loop so now we can just close our animation so we've done our screen we have jet here uh, the next detail is a little drop shadow on the side of jet so i'm gonna right click the pre-composition go to layer styles and then go to drop shadow uh, we can just go to layer styles and then drop shadow and then i am going to set my opacity to 50 percent i'm gonna set the blend mode to normal and i'm gonna set the angle to zero i'm gonna set my size to zero and i'm gonna increase the distance a little bit uh yeah this looks fine but i want the uh direct to go the other side so i'm gonna type in 180 here 
and that looks fine maybe it's a little bit long so maybe decrease the distance a little bit to like uh, let's say 40 yeah that looks fine and of course the drop shadow is dynamic so it moves along with the animation of jet that we did in the, our pre-composition the next thing that i'm gonna do is add some little details and crosses in the background so i'm gonna create a new shape layer and for this you don't have to do anything because i already created a shape layer preset um, that if we open this it gives you very nice crosses all over your layer i'm gonna select my shape layer and drag it under jet and then set the blending mode to overlay and i'm gonna decrease the opacity to like 50 percent so this gives a very nice and subtle detail i'm also just gonna rename my layer real quick so it's clear to work with the next thing i'm gonna do is just add some text so uh, let's select the type tool so let's just type in um stream and for this i'm gonna uh, use the font kaluna looks really nice just like a clean esports font and it's also important that we turn on the colors again uh, so we can color pick the right white color um, so it's not exactly white it's like a little bit off gray like grayish and that just looks much better than just regular white it just gives this nice little aesthetic i'm going to increase my uh, font size okay that looks fine by me just adjust the position a little bit then i'm gonna create some more text i'm gonna call this uh, is offline so the stream is offline just basically animated offline screen you can also do like intermission or something like that um, for the font i'm gonna use monument extended regular I'm going to decrease the uh, font size a little bit and then adjust the position until it's underneath here. And as you can see, it sticks out a little bit. So we have to decrease the font size even further. This looks fine. Just place it underneath here. And then we can color pick the red that we already have in our composition. I'm going to take these and I'm going to click on here and then proportional grid. And then we can sort of center the text in the middle so it looks much better than first. So I want my text a little bit bigger, uh, but of course we already made two separate layers. So to scale them proportionally with together, uh, I'm gonna create a new null object. I'm just gonna select these text layers real quick, link them to the null object, then increase the size of the null object and then delete the null object again. And now we can just select the text layers and move them over a little bit. I want to have jet on top of my text. Uh, so I'm gonna move jet on top of my text, but maybe it's a little bit too much so i'm gonna select jet as well as my shape layer and just drag them a little bit to the right to adjust the position the next part is a little text animation that we're gonna loop so we're gonna click on stream i'm just gonna drag this above so it's on top of all the layers i'm going to click here on this little arrow and we're gonna go to animate and then animate the opacity i'm gonna set my range selector opacity to zero and then open the range selector then click on advanced and keep this on square uh, set the smoothness to zero and then basically you want to set your end to zero and we're gonna to place a keyframe and then i'm gonna go like uh to 20 frames or, or let's just do one second and then i'm gonna set my end to a full 100 percent then we're gonna do like half a second so 15 frames and we're gonna pick a and we're gonna set a keyframe for the start position and then i'm gonna move along a second and then i'm gonna set this to a hundred percent so what we have right now is this really nice uh sort of type animation and just it's just really clean and it loops every six seconds but to have something in the background as well i'm going to du duplicate this and i'm going to take the bottom one and just open the this and then delete the animator and i'm going to go up here to character i'm going to click on the switch so this basically turns the text into not a fill but just a stroke of the text i'm going to de decrease my stroke to like uh, two that looks fine and then we can turn on the regular text again so now we have this really nice text animation where it just looks like a, a um, yeah sort of a stroke outline of the text gets typed over it the last part of this tutorial is creating some nice shapes so for that I'm gonna create a new composition I'm just gonna call these shapes and we can just keep the all the composition settings from the first screen that we had press ok I'm gonna turn off my transparency so I have a nice black screen and I can see what I'm doing I'm gonna create a few different shape layers that all have a nice animation and they're super easy but just if you put them all together and just mix them a little bit they'll look really nice and complicated for the first one i'm just going to select the rectangle tool and draw a little rectangle by holding shift i'm going to press u twice and set it to like uh, let's do 50. i'm going to duplicate this and move it a little bit to the left and then i'm going to select my white color again i still have it in my character panel so i'm going to double click and then we can just copy this hex code otherwise you have to go back to your uh, main composition where you have your uh, your little color shape layer i'm going to turn it off again um, so basically what i'm going to do is i'm gonna add a stroke and just paste that color code here but i'm gonna click on fill and just turn it off for the last thing i'm gonna select the pen tool again and draw a little line and to get a straight line you want to hold shift 
and just drag it to the right. So my line is a little short, so I'm gonna select my shape layer, press U twice, and then click on path, and then we can just select one point by holding shift, and I'm gonna drag it out a little bit. Um, so now comes the animating of it. I definitely recommend getting motion three or motion two, it's a little bit cheaper, uh, because you can easily center the anchor points, so you have a free, few extra options. I'm gonna select all my shape layers and click on this, so the, center, uh, so the anchor points are centered. I'm gonna focus on my line first, so I'm gonna click uh, here, and go to add, and I'm gonna go to trim paths, click down here, and then uh, set the end to 0%. I'm gonna place a keyframe, I'm gonna go to 10 frames, uh, set it to 100, and then go to 5 frames, uh, place a keyframe for the start, and then go to 15 frames, and set it to 100. And then I'm going to select all keyframes, press F9, and go to the graph editor, and I'm gonna select this one, and uh, drag both keyframes all, to, all, way, all the way to the right, both handles. I'm gonna do the same for the left one, uh, for the left one, but just drag all of the handles to the left. And if we now preview this, you have this really nice fluid animation that sort of pops up fast and then uh, goes fast again. I'm gonna do the same with these shapes, just a simple animating. Okay, so I ended up with these two simple animations. I just scale them up first, and then have one rotate, and then have the other rotate, and then just scale them down again. Of course, they're independent, so I can just move them around, and you have some really nice cool timing uh, in which they sort of fluently talk to each other it looks they're, like they're sort of correlated but they're not anyways that's that's very simple um, so I've created a few different shapes uh, the next step is to just lay them out and just spread them over six seconds and then you can just keep on looping this animation okay so I've duplicated my shapes a lot and just moved them around with some nice timing and I ended up with this nice collection of shape animations if I now go back to my screen composition and then just drag in my composition with shapes I'm gonna drag it above the cross but underneath chat and uh, text layers we can just ramp preview this and we would have a really nice animation of course you can tweak this a little bit so I'm gonna increase the skill of my uh, so I'm gonna increase the skill of my shapes comp uh, composition so they don't really interfere with uh, much of the text and that stuff so just mess around with that a little bit if you do decide to scale it up be sure to tick this box collapse to transform uh, this will make sure that the shape layers contain their nice quality from the original composition okay so if you do it right you're left with this nice animation jet is animated the background elements are animated um, oh yeah by the way I didn't tell you that uh, the crosses in the background are animated as well I added a nice little wiggle trans uh, wiggle uh, expression to make the crosses go up and little down a little bit in, in size and it's just really subtle but it adds a lot of detail so you're left with this really nice animated screen you can export this as a gif or just an mp4 video file and you can use this in your streams. I'm going to leave the presets in the description so you can follow along fast. And I've also included a few nice uh, Valorant presets for like text animations and flash animations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, I'm going to come back, of course. I have a lot of free time right now due to the coronavirus and I'm just gonna make a lot of videos. Uh, make sure to leave requests in the description or in the comment section, I mean. And I'm just gonna try my best and make as many videos as possible. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.